Welcome to module number two, servant leadership. You know, there's a lot of confusion about what servant leadership is. People throw that term around, those two words, all the time. I don't think it means that you are carrying people on your back. I do think it means you're carrying people in your heart. One of my greatest uh, heroes when it comes to servant leadership is the example of Jesus Christ in the New Testament. No one would accuse Jesus of being milk toast, weak, limp. He was a powerful, strong leader when he was on planet Earth, but he was a servant leader. And the night before he was crucified, he taught what servant leadership is. He got the disciples in the upper room, they were about to have a meal. There was somebody very important that was missing from this meal. It was the servant that would normally be there to wash the feet because it was a secret meeting. Uh, so no non-essential personnel were present. And he realized none of his disciples were going to wash the feet. So he went and grabbed the basin, took off his outer garment, and began to wash the disciples' feet. And I've often thought if I had been there at that moment, how would I feel? I would feel horrible. I don't, I'd feel like Peter felt. I don't want you to wash my feet. I should be washing your feet. And I thought as I've read that story many times how those followers missed a great opportunity to demonstrate servant leadership. If I was there and he started to go around the table washing the feet, I would be thinking to myself, oh, I lost this opportunity. I could have gone and grabbed the basin. You know, that's what servant leadership is. It's taking the initiative without being asked. Well, he washed all their feet and then he sat down and he said, I want to tell you a lesson. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I've set you an example that you should do what I have done to you. That's servant leadership. So how does servant leadership apply in reality? Does this really work or is this just a great theory? Well, I told you in the first video about how top-down leadership shows up. Now let me give you the applications based on servant leadership. Not abuse of authority, but view yourself as a servant of all. Not a dictator, but a partner in the process of decision making. Not deplorable delegation, but give people room to fail and room to grow. Not lack of listening as a leader who never wants to get feedback, but take a posture like as described in the book of Philippians chapter 2, where you don't consider yourself the most important, but you also consider others actually as more important than yourself. That was the example of Jesus. Not controlling but letting go with affirmation as you help people. Not